Welcome to Sports Briefing. The content of the briefing includes No more Siobhan Hawhees and less Hong Kong update sport facilities, coach warns. Greg Popovich couldn't be more proud of Derek White. Patriots keep battling for Belichick but come up short, drop to 4-12 after loss to Bills. I stole £1.3 million and gambled it all away. PGA Tour and Saudi-backed LIV extend deadline to finalize deal. No more Siobhan Hawhees and less Hong Kong update sport facilities, coach warns. South China Morning Post. Greg Popovich couldn't be more proud of Derek White. Yahoo! San Antonio Spurs head coach Greg Popovich praised his former player Derek White, who now plays for the Boston Celtics, calling him one of the greatest guys ever and explaining how he helped him become a more confident player. White is having a career year, averaging a career-high 17.0 points, 5.3 assists, 3.9 rebounds, and 1.3 steals per game while shooting a career-best 48.6% from the floor and 41.3% from three-point range. Patriots keep battling for Belichick but come up short, drop to 4-12 to after loss to Bills. Associated Press. The New England Patriots were competitive in their 27-21 loss to the Buffalo Bills on Sunday, despite the team sitting at 4-12 and being out of playoff contention. The Patriots remain resilient and determined to battle until the end of the season, even as speculation grows about major off-season changes and the future of coach Bill Belichick. The team has struggled to put together four quarters of good football and has already accumulated more losses this season than in any other season under Belichick's management. I stole £1.3 million and gambled it all away. BBC. Andy May, a former finance manager who stole £1.3 million from his employer to fund a gambling addiction, has spoken out about the importance of seeking help for gambling addiction before it spirals out of control. May described how his gambling habit escalated over time, leading to financial ruin and criminal activity. He stole money from his employer, lost £50,000, and accumulated large amounts of debt. May was eventually caught and sentenced to four years in prison. He emphasized the impact his actions had on his family, stating that the consequences of his addiction and crime were worse than being in prison. May also stressed the importance of seeking support and speaking out about the issue, stating that he wished he had been brave enough to do so sooner. He now volunteers with the charity Gamble Aware to share his story and raise awareness about gambling addiction. May concluded by encouraging individuals struggling with gambling addiction to seek help and start a conversation before the situation escalates. PGA Tour and Saudi-backed LIV extend deadline to finalize deal. New York Times. The PGA Tour has said it is working to extend the negotiation period with Saudi Arabia's sovereign wealth fund PIF over the proposed partnership between the two organizations. The PGA Tour and LIV Golf, which is backed by PIF, announced a deal in June for their men's golf circuits to join forces, with the details of the agreement to be finalized by the end of December 2023. However, doubts have now been cast over the future of the partnership as questions over U.S. investment and the Saudis' continued poaching of PGA Tour players remain unanswered. Trent Williams is an all-time great reminder of Washington's mistakes. Washington Post. The Washington commander's embarrassing past and the firing of an employee who took a vengeful stance against left tackle Trent Williams are reminders of the franchise's failures under former owner Daniel Snyder, who was forced to sell the team in 2023. Although the commander's current owners have a monumental task ahead, there is hope for the future, especially when it comes to building a team around Williams. Despite being run off from Washington, Williams is now 35 and remains an excellent player and person. The San Francisco 49ers head coach, Kyle Shanahan, said, it's tough to win without a left tackle you can trust, and referred to Williams as the best left tackle ever. Williams was traded to the 49ers for a third-round pick and a fifth-round pick, which was a terrible deal for the commanders. After enduring so much in his 10 seasons with Washington, Williams said he is now having a blast with his new team. David Warner announces retirement from one-day international cricket. ABC. Australian cricketer David Warner has announced his retirement from one-day international, ODI, cricket. The 37-year-old, who will play his final test match against Pakistan this week, said he felt the time was right to conclude his ODI career following Australia's World Cup victory in India last year. Warner's 6,932 runs in 161 ODI matches is the sixth most by any Australian, 
and his average of 45.30 is among the best in the nation's history. He has not ruled out a comeback if Australia needs an opener for the ICC Champions Trophy in 2025. Panthers owner David Tepper tosses drink into visiting stands late in 26-0 loss to Jaguars. Associated Press. Carolina Panthers owner, David Tepper, threw the contents of a drink into the crowd during a 26-0 loss to Jacksonville on Sunday, which saw the Panthers fall to 2-14. It was unclear if Tepper was responding to something directed at him or to the team's performance. The Panthers finished the season with a 0-9 away record and clinched the number one overall pick in the NFL draft in April. Philly homecoming is sweet for Cardinals coach Jonathan Gannon. Associated Press. An article published by the Associated Press on January 9, 2022, reports on a game between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Arizona Cardinals. The Cardinals, led by former Eagles defensive coordinator Jonathan Gannon, rallied to win the game 35-31. This victory came despite the fact that the Cardinals had little to play for, while the Eagles were fighting for a playoff spot. Gannon's defense played a large role in the win, shutting down Jalen Hurts and the Eagles' offense in the second half. David Tepper's apparent drink tantrum says a whole lot about his Panthers' tenure in one inexcusable gesture. Yahoo! The Carolina Panthers have had a terrible, terrible season from hell, and it only hit a new low on Sunday. Scoring zero points in a 26-0 loss to the Jacksonville Jaguars, who were starting backup quarterback C.J. beat hard as Bryce Young's brutal rookie season comes to a near close wasn't even the worst part of the day. Chargers 16-9 road loss to the Denver Broncos by the numbers. Yahoo! The Chargers' Austin Ekeler, 30, who had 46 yards rushing against the Broncos, runs near the Broncos' sideline. Breaking down the notable numbers behind the Chargers' 16-9 road loss to the Denver Broncos on Sunday. With Chiefs locked into AFC No. 3 seed, Patrick Mahomes unsure if he'll play next week. Yahoo! Kansas City Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes is willing to do whatever head coach Andy Reid wants regarding playing in the team's final regular season game. The Chiefs have secured the No. 3 seed in the AFC playoffs, and there is speculation that Mahomes and other key starters may be rested in Week 18. Mahomes said he didn't even realize the Chiefs were the No. 3 seed but is ready to play if Reid wants him to or rest up for the playoffs. An injury to Mahomes would be devastating for the Chiefs, so it's unlikely they will risk him in a meaningless game. Wolverines, Spartans help U.S. route Slovakia 10-2 in World Junior Hockey Group Finale. Associated Press. The United States defeated Slovakia 10-2 in the World Junior Hockey Championship, with Michigan forward Rutger McCourty scoring a hat trick. The U.S. finished Group B play undefeated and will face Latvia in the quarterfinals. In other games, the Czech Republic beat Switzerland 4-2, Finland beat Sweden 5-4 in a shootout, and Canada defeated Germany 6-3. Sweden, Canada, Finland, and the Czech Republic advanced to the quarterfinals. Stidham uneven in first start in place of Wilson as Broncos rely on defense to beat Chargers 16-9. The Toronto star. Jarrett Stidham threw for 224 yards and a touchdown in his first start as the Denver Broncos beat the Los Angeles Chargers 16-9. The Broncos forced one turnover and allowed two third-down conversions on 11 attempts. Despite the win, the Broncos saw their playoff chances end with Kansas City beating Cincinnati. Harrison Butker hits six field goals, kicks Chiefs to AFC West title with 25-17 win over Bengals. Associated Press. The Kansas City Chiefs clinched the AFC West title with a 25-17 win over the Cincinnati Bengals on Sunday, securing a home playoff game in the process. Chiefs kicker Harrison Butker made six field goals from 54, 43, 27, 24, 48 and 46 yards to guide Kansas City to victory. The Bengals led by 10 points early in the game but couldn't hold on, with Chiefs QB Patrick Mahomes throwing for 245 yards and a touchdown to secure the win. And that's a wrap on today's news. We covered a variety of topics, from the need for improved sports facilities in Hong Kong to the retirement of Australian cricketer David Warner. We also discussed the struggles of the New England Patriots and the Carolina Panthers in the NFL, as well as the success of the Arizona Cardinals and Kansas City Chiefs. And let's not forget about the exciting World Junior Hockey Championship. Now, let's dive into some analysis. The call for improved sports facilities in Hong Kong is crucial for the development of young athletes and their access to international opportunities. It's clear that the government needs to prioritize this issue and provide the necessary resources. As for Derek White, it's great to see him thriving in the NBA and receiving praise from his former coach. The Patriots and Panthers may be having a tough season, but their resilience and determination are commendable. 
And kudos to Andy May for speaking out about his gambling addiction and raising awareness of the need for support. In the world of golf, the partnership between the PGA Tour and LIV Golf is facing uncertainties. It remains to be seen how the negotiations between the two organizations will play out. Meanwhile, Trent Williams continues to shine in the NFL, and his departure from the Washington Commanders highlights the franchise's past mistakes. And congratulations to David Warner on an impressive ODI career. Lastly, we witnessed some intense moments in the world of sports. From the drink-throwing incident involving the Carolina Panthers owner to the Kansas City Chiefs clinching the AFC West title, there was no shortage of excitement. Now it's your turn, viewers. What are your thoughts on these news stories? Do you have any questions or opinions to share? Let's continue the discussion. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.